It's just one disaster after another with you two, isn't it? Well, my keen detection skills don't pick up anyone else in the immediate vicinity. Perhaps they were all thrown clear by the crash, what with the destruction and exploding. According to my ultra radar, a new time hole has appeared somewhere in this castle. I think it may be advisable to find the time hole and return to our own time for a while. Well, that's one way to go from worse to worser. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, the baby bros united with the big bros. And we got separated pretty stinking quickly because we got blasted out of the sky by Princess Shroob, who has taken over the Mushroom Kingdom of the past. In this episode, we are going to try and see if we could reunite with everyone. Uh, we got some more blocks right here. We got L block for Luigi. We got eight green shells and two mushrooms. So getting a lot of ammunition, which is really nice. As you can see, Luigi got the first strike instead of Mario, so it actually doesn't matter which character you have land on the enemy, in case one of the bro has more attack power than the other. And the Goombas are actually a bit more powerful than the Strooplets we saw before. They have just a bit more HP, but they're a lot easier to predict in terms of who they're going to attack, because they just walk right up in front of the person they're going to attack. So they're pretty standard. Uh, if we go down here, there is yet another Goomba. Let's go, okie dokie. Eventually, we'll be able to just one-shot these guys before the battle even begins. Or we can just do that and have no problem whatsoever. I promise we'll go into uh, cutting out battles eventually, but just for the beginning part, I think it's kind of important to show them off. Uh, got a one-up mushroom, which is nice. Head on up here, and there is four more green shells. So, MG, my first edited out battle. It was just a Goomba, nothing important to see there. And we get yet another one. Gonna have to jump on it. So, this is where, I don't know, I was just always sort of hesitant on whether or not, not really hesitant on whether or not I was gonna LP it, but like, I just don't know how it's gonna turn out because uh, I just have all these concerns of how the layout's gonna be. It's interesting how like, even after all this time that I've been Let's Playing, I just faced with new challenges because I kind of been going out of my way to make sure I don't LP the same games like multiple times in a row. It took like such a long time for me to get to LP uh, games in the same series. I know Mario is the most frequent thing on my channel, but I make sure that they're like all from different series and stuff. So it's always something entirely different. And this is something entirely new that I haven't done before. So I'm gonna commentate these battles. I remember them being like a lot more battle heavy than um, Paper Mario. So um, things may not get cut out as, things may get cut out a lot more often rather. So I apologize if that's the case, but Maybe we should stop talking about that and actually try and talk about something interesting that happened recently. But here's the problem. Nothing interesting has happened in my life. Oh my god, I'm such a failure. Oh hey, new enemy. I was going to be like an alternative is that I could cut out multiple fights at the same time. If you see multiple enemies on the screen, I could just cut away till all of them are gone. But right here we got a new enemy, the Boo. The Boo will go ahead and lift up one of its eyes. If it lifts up the left eye, that means it's going to go for Mario. The right eye, then it goes for Luigi or... When I say left and right, I mean left and right on from your point of view, but not from their actual eyes. Like, the one, when, basically, whenever an enemy does something with some appendage of theirs, if an eye counts as an appendage, that is towards another bro. Like, that one's closer to Luigi, so you could bet it is going to go to Luigi. But again, you could just jump with both bros and have it not actually matter. And, uh, sometimes stuff will give us items at the end of battles, like a one-up mushroom. Enemies do have a certain percentage of dropping things. I don't really know them off the top of my head, but uh, I'm not really going on my way to get like 100% on every single thing in the game. Speaking of 100%, this little X right here on the ground, we cannot do anything with that right now. It'll be something for later, but again, I probably won't be coming back for this. If you want to come back for it, then you can, but I'm not going for a 100% playthrough. I just sort of want to get through the game. And this game is pretty straightforward. There's not literally any side quests or anything like that. It's just mainly story and nothing else but that. Not really anything wrong with that, but I know some people really do like having side quests and whatnot in their games. Uh, me personally, I'm I'm okay with uh, just the main story being what it is because it is pretty enjoyable. And it's enough to entertain me for this moment in time. So we just walk on over here. Walk on down. I don't know how Bowser is expected. Well, I guess he, this is the Mushroom Kingdom of the past, so uh, he'd be able to walk across here no problem. It'd be a fun little jungle gym of sorts for him, I suppose. Jeez, Luigi, if a stinking shrewblet landed on your head and brought you to 1 HP, that thing might have sick and killed you. Or not.
Ouija is canon. And of course, even in baby form, baby Louie just stinking wiener. Like baby, like I probably shouldn't be making fun of a baby for being afraid, but if baby Mario is able to do it, then why isn't his brother able to? Oh, whatever. Mario, my talking pants. Oh, whatever. Perhaps you should use me as a sort of cushion, cushionation device. I am, of course, well padded. Maybe Luigi would likely feel reassured by the sight of my luxurious leather. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's how you wanna put it. And there you go. Ooh, we have located and been reunited with the babies. Back to adventure. Well, see ya. Mario? I go Mario always looks down at his crotch whenever Stuffle starts talking. Allow me a brief apology. I was rushing. I forgot to mention how to move as a group of four. You see, the babies are unable to understand my communicating. What a situation. But they understood everyone else's communicating up to this point, and they were able to walk mm. around on their own. Babies! Babies! <laughs> okay, that's sort of adorable. Oh no! <laughs> I like how baby. I like how Luigi's baby self even bullies Luigi. It's just a really fun thing to do. Yo! -ho. Yes, they are not helpless. I suggest the four of you join forces and move on. Oh wait a moment! <laughs> uh, classic anime fall. Yes, proceeding as a group four is rather vital. Look the upper. Look at the upper right hand part of the screen. Tutorial music! When the icons look like this, Mario and Luigi can move. Go on, move about. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. I'm ready to proceed. When you want to, we want the juveniles to move on their own, press X or Y. Go on, little humans, move! When you're ready to proceed, let me know. So we could switch controls between the bros and the babies. In this way, control switches between the adult Mario and the Luigi and the baby size ones. Yes, but there is even more informationizing, and this is extremely convenient. Mario and Luigi can give the babies piggyback rides and move about together. It is simple to do. When Mario and Luigi get near the babies, the tykes climb up automatically. Try it and see. Piggyback! The babies can also initiate the move by close by moving close to Mario and Luigi. Now then, let's go find our poor missing companions. Back to adventure. And we have now come uh, face to face with our main party for the entire game. Mario and Luigi, along with Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. And that's sort of the main reason why I could never go back and play uh, Superstar Saga after this one. Because having a team of four uh, throughout this entire game and then going back to a team of two, it just wouldn't work for me. But yeah, as you can see, we are met with this very high ledge. What we're going to want to do is press the X button to throw the babies up there. And they could go ahead and reach the high shelf for us. Bring up this pipe block and bring the big bros up here. And this block right here can only be activated when all four bros are standing on it. So we do that and we are good to go. So you'll see a lot of interesting puzzles that revolve around uh, separating the characters and bring them back together or trying to reunite them with one another. And then it gets even more interesting in battles. So I look forward to showing you all that. Get more green shells, just getting a lot of stinging items. Uh, mushrooms and mushroom drop. Mushroom drop restores a little bit of HP to every character all at once. So those are really good items if you have all your characters at low HP. Uh, put the babies down here and they get some more items for us. Jeez, there's literally no short of, it of items in this game. Uh, go ahead and reunite and keep on going. Things are finally starting to look up. Hopefully I could get through this entire uh, not really a tutorial dungeon anymore, but like just a uh, first dungeon of sorts in one episode, though I don't want it to end up being too long. Uh, go ahead and bring them up here. 
And then second verse, same as the first. It's like the original. Oh, wait. Uh, this time we're going to have to hit a block instead of hitting a pipe block. Uh, but yeah, it's like the original Joel and Ellie puzzle from Last of Us where every single puzzle is just like, put Ellie up on a ledge and have her uh, pull her back up or something like that. I don't know. Prince! Prince Bowser! Aha! You, you little red and green insects. Didn't I try to kidnap you once? Yeah, I did. Boy, that didn't work out so well. And you don't look quite so little anymore. Uh, I guess he's referencing Yoshi's Island, which is kind of interesting. And you're much hairier, too. Weird, but none of that matters. You look... You like bothering our budding master of evil, don't you? And I'll bother you up! Oh no, a Goomba! And it's magically a Boo! Okay. Mario! Luigi! Have you ever seen a piggyback move in battle? Oh, it is fantabulous! Let me show you how this action command works. Darn it, they know we haven't seen this in the previous Mario and Luigi games, so they're gonna force that tutorial on us. Now, Mario, if you attack with a jump, if you follow... Go ahead and do a jump. First, press Baby Mario's X button. Then press Mario's A button. Now Luigi, you're jumping to you jump to attack as well. The second verse, same as the first. Same thing, baby Luigi's Y button. And baby Luigi's B button. <laughs> hey hey hey! Next bros items. When using these while piggybacks, you could use the baby buttons as well. Use the A button and B buttons as usual, but now you also have to use the X and Y buttons. Depending on the item, the use of the X and Y buttons may change if you follow. When piggybacked, the description of the top screen will change, so look closely. When using the green shell, press the baby button when the shell hits the enemy. Yes, alrighty Mario, attack with the green shell! Uh, we're gonna have to get forced on us even though I don't want to use my items. But yeah, as you can see, we can now have baby Mario spin on top of the shell, and every time we're about to hit the enemy, you can press the X button. Uh, while we're near the enemy to do extra damage. However, it also makes the shell go a lot faster, so it's a lot more difficult to control. But we are going to have to do it. Did you press the B button? I was trying to. Press it again. Oh, God. Press the A button. Okay. There you go. It'll get a lot more difficult later on, though, when enemies have more HP and have to do for longer periods of time. Hey, 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 hey. Luigi, why don't you try and take- I don't want to, though. I'm wasting the precious items. I need to save them all for the final boss. Uh, that's how I am with RPGs. Like, like, never use stinking items or healing items because I just always want to save them for, like, only boss fights. But whatever. Yeah! How long do I have to do this? I'm in a hurry! Oh, two enemies now up in the ante. Now then. As you would expect, you cannot use a green shell on a boo because it's floating in the air. Okay, on to the battle. And I can't believe I just messed that up. Okay, maybe I actually do need to pay attention to the tutorials. Or not, because he got finished anyway. Looked up that eye, and jump! I don't think having uh, a baby on your back uh, increases your attack power at all. I don't know why I keep messing that up. Uh, I don't think it increases your attack power because like the extra weight or anything like that. But it's still good to stay together and uh, work as a team. So you can get double experience. Well, not double experience, but like you all get your experience all at once. Mario goes to level 4! Get all that, and let's go ahead and increase defense this time around. And it's just a 1, unfortunately. Luigi gets level 4. That experience. He's gonna get... Oh, there's a 4 in there. Oh, of course, just a 1. God darn it. Prince Bowser! Keep on heading up here. Uh, let's see, hit that thing, get another green shell, and I didn't even see that boo there until like right at the last second. Hello, new enemy right here. Uh, we're just gonna have to get through this first. The enemies are attacking first this time around. Lift the eye up, jump around, jump around, jump around. This is a boom guy. I'll leave him on screen for a bit so we can see what he does. Gee, I wonder what it, I don't know why I kept messing up. I kind of wish it was just like press BB or BY or something like that, but no, it's not like that. And okay, there you go. So the shy guy could either have a fluke attack where he tries to shoot a bullet bill out and it doesn't work, or he could just get it right on the first try. He can't do any sort of counter attack towards the guy himself because he doesn't actually physically attack you, but it's still good to dodge any attacks that involve bullet bills because they are not pleasant. Uh, just go and do that. There you go. Just do that and that. 
And I believe the, yep, the bulb bill will actually fall off his head at some point. He'll get new ones eventually, but we're not going to give him the chance. So yeah, as you can see, things are getting a lot more complex as, as we go on. Like, Ari was the one new enemy we already have a lot more uh, varied of uh, things to worry about. And, like, you just have to keep track of all of it. It's really weird. I feel like I've been repeating myself way too single much for the, just the first three episodes. So I'm going to try to change that. Uh, land on you. Uh, so other things I've been doing recently that I could try to talk about. I recently played A Way Out. Uh, I've been wanting to play that, but I just... Uh, you can only play it multiplayer, so I had to find someone to play it with. Recorded it for Viz Nomadic, so uh, hopefully uh, this gets released after that, so I'm not spoiling anything. But yeah, uh, it was fun. The writing's kind of bland in my opinion, but it was just fun to play around with a friend and stuff. I'm gonna keep on going. Hopefully, it'll have a satisfying conclusion. We're about a third of the way done right now, so I don't know how it ends at this point in time. Uh, avoid that, okay. Uh, in terms of movies I mentioned in another Let's Play, so this is the problem of, like, recording LPs out of order and, like, super far in advance. Like, I don't know what I have and haven't said already, so, and I don't know when they're getting released in comparison to one another, so, I don't really know when, uh, this got mentioned, but I know I mentioned that I saw Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse recently. Uh, it was stinking phenomenal, but I guess we could talk about a different topic. Uh, something that I wish I had seen, but I didn't get that, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to, like, back out of it, because I was like, eh, I'll look for something else, but no, pressing B, uh, made me do it. Uh, let's go for attack power with Paper Luigi. And then we get one, of course. Like, father, like son. Or, like, older self, like younger self, rather. But yeah, um, something else I wanted to talk about is a movie that I wanted to see recently, but I unfortunately missed my chance. Oh! Speaking of missing my chance, do not run away from enemies, because if the enemy touches you from behind, it will trip up the character and make it so they can't move. So they either have to get hit or get back to their turn. So be forewarned about that. Uh, but yeah, as I was trying to say, the second uh, special Pokemon movie, the one about Lugia and stuff, I did not get the chance to see that in theaters, unfortunately, so... Uh, I still need to find a way to watch that at some point. Uh, another movie I, s I still haven't seen is the final Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, or the one where it's like the dark side of the dimensions or whatever. I still have not seen that. I've heard it's really singing fantastic, so I need to see it at some point. Hopefully I'll get on that, but for now I'm just playing around with Mario and Luigi in their time travel and adventure. Oh, what do we got up here? What does it say? Get four minions on the pipe that lid to activate the elevator. It's just like the button thing. You just stand on it like this, and you're good to go. Uh, we got a save album right here. We're not going to save just yet, because we're still in the middle of a recording. Uh, I guess we're just going to keep on going. I got the pipe just blurts out of the ground like it wasn't made to be here, but for the convenience of the plot, we created this quadruple pipe for you. Got two more green shells. Uh, for places too high to adults to reach. Yeah, we know about that. Just throw them up here. And the babies are going to hit the switch for us. What a difficult dungeon this is. There you go. So I am recording this in a bit of a different setup. I hopefully it turns out okay. I apologize if it sounds a bit Ako Taco. This sort of meant as like a little tutorial thing, like from my previous recordings of a different LP, which I think I came, came out before this one. Um, it sounded okay from when I was able to tell. I didn't check over all the footage like I probably should have, but... Hopefully it will be okay. I probably shouldn't be recording too far in advance because if all these LPs that I'm recording right now are all having problems with that, then it's going to be releasing it. Probably to have to re-record all of them or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's the joy of DS and 3DS LPs. You're going to see a lot of stinking DS and 3DS LPs for the later half of year 7, though, and just in general because I have so much catching up to do. The first half of my LP career had none of them, so got to play catch up now. So, uh, the babies are not nearly as powerful when they're all by themselves. They have less attack power and a lot less HP, so keep that in mind. But we still get to see, uh, Baby Luigi do the monkey, which looks really sick and funny. And, like, Baby Mario's cowboy saying, like, let me at him, let me at him! Looks very funny. Just gonna keep on jumping. And we could get the counterattack. And we could finish off this fight with a lucky attack. I try my best to not fight uh, enemies with the bros separated as often as possible because I like having them all get level ups around the same time. But for enemies like this that uh, you could only fight with the babies since they're in this uh, locked off area, I think it's fine to fight them. No problem about that. Can't really complain about getting a bunch of easy experience. Okay, now that's settled. We see our objective. We gotta go hit those blocks up there. However, we cannot reach those from down here. So we're gonna do a switch over to the other bros. 
And I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the booty to edit. I have no idea how I'm going to go about this. Mario and Luigi! If I may, there appears to be an unfamiliar block up there. Are you aware of how to hit and activate that block? Yes, I am. You really know how? Of course I know how. So I don't have to show you. Yup. Then back to adventure. So this is a new mechanic. However, I, since I've already played the game, I don't need to show it off to you. We can fight these guys. Oh, wait, we can't? Or is it for later? So what you gotta do is hit this block first and then this one second. Okay, I thought we would have to hit them along with the ones that were up there, but no, it's not quite like that. I'm thinking of a different type of puzzle, but now we can run up here, hit this, and hit this. And now they could reach that location right there. I'm gonna save the enemies down there for a bit later because we could reunite and get experience for everyone. Uh, just run up here, hit this, and this. Create the one more bridge, and we are good to go. Reunite with Mario and Luigi if we can. Uh, I think we could switch over to these other characters and then uh, the enemies will stop following them. And there you go. Time to get a buttload of experience. Mario got a level up up to level 5. And I guess we'll go ahead and come full circle and increase his speed uh, by just one, unfortunately. Luigi got to level 5. Uh, gonna increase his. He's really slow, apparently, so we're gonna give him a lot more speed. Two more speed. At least it wasn't one. I, thought I did see a four on there, which I would have preferred. Run over here, and oh, okay, I guess hitting the bullet bill that the guy shot out counts as killing the main enemy, so I'm good with that. But yes, we're gonna go ahead and just keep on going through here. Hopefully, uh, you don't mind cutting out too many battles, but it's all for the sake of keeping things nice and clean. And ow! How is that a back attack against me? First off, how is that not a first strike on my end, and how is that not a back attack against... Ow, whatever. Baby Mario gets a level up. It's gonna be kinda hard to keep track of everyone's stats, but I think defense is next for him. Uh, four, that's very nice. And Baby Luigi gets a level up to level five, yeah. Uh, go for defense, and one. And yes, as you can see, the babies do have the stash stat as well, even though they don't actually have mustaches. I don't really know how that works, but whatever. Uh, I guess it was either that or, like, the diaper stat or something like that. So, uh, I could just imagine that the stat is going to help them in the future. Like, as soon as they hit puberty, that just blurts out their uh, upper lip, and it's just epic and amazing like that. I don't know. Get 20 coins once again. And over here, there's a door that we can't really get through. If only there was a switch in order for us to get through here. A shine sprite, eh? That does absolutely nothing at this point in time, so... We're gonna want to do is throw them up here and this thing I remember this thing you're gonna want to do is not do that accidentally hit with Luigi uh, you're gonna want to hit it with whatever bro tells you to like Mario have big Mario hit it and it lights the way for you for a brief period of time just run across here and there you go have Luigi hit this one and it always goes to baby Mario for whatever reason just gonna keep on going and we should be good to go uh, one more for good measure Okay, good thing I just go forward. Uh, there we go. We are finished. Head on to this side. Open up this treasure chest. What do you suppose that is? It appears trashable, but it may also be something of incru incalculable value. I think it, it, I think it best that we take it with us and investigate further. We got Sultan. And opening that treasure chest somehow opened a bunch of doors as well. How convenient. Bring the big bros over here. It's kind of oh, we would call them the big bros, even though they're not the big bros of these characters. Like, they're the big bros, but they're not their big bros, you know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, and hey, there was a warp pipe over here, so I guess speedrunners take note. You could have just hit this in the other room to get your bros back. But whatever, just head on down here. And we got a fancy looking room up ahead. Uh, we could save, but we could just keep going instead, because I'm sure that's a lot safer. Uh, are there any enemies? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, just head on in here. All right, are you? Jolly good! Mario, Luigi, that's the new time hole. Back to adventure! Thank you for your invaluable information. 
I thought that about that. Beep, 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 Pardon me. You say we should leap into that ridiculous hole? Absolute rubbish! Do you honestly believe that I would place the princess in such reckless endangerment? Come on, it's the time to go back to our own era. This blathering nincompooter is just arresting our progress. You! Why, you scoundrel! How dare you refer to me as such! And it's nincompoop! Nincompooter, that's thinking funny. Let's go. Whoa, 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Luigi. Hold! I say, what cheek? You, I dare say, are the true nincompoops. Come back here this instant!